A lot of what we had to make sure that we did with the art style was to, in essence, make it still feel like the post-nuclear world that it was. And that is the kind of the weird 50s, but 100 years after the 50s, if the 50s just stayed the 50s, and then bringing in this idea of Vegas. Josh had one of the first team meetings, and he talked about Vegas as being one of his ideas, but more importantly, that it'd be the Rat Pack era. And when he said that, then I was just joyous, because it's just uh, great aesthetics at that time. When we started the game, there were a few things aesthetically that we knew we wanted to do. We wanted to make sure that the architectural style of homes, and as well as the casinos, either reflected a 50s style from the Vegas era, or it reflected an even earlier time, more like the settlers of the West. But it's all about Vegas. And so we want to make sure that we have this feeling of sort of this neon, and again, it feels like you're going in there and you're playing around with the monsters, you're playing around with the Rat Pack. The scope of this game is massive. You have basically a city in the middle of this area, and then the territory stretches all around the city and does stretch out all the way to Boulder City and to the dam. When doing Vegas, we didn't want to neglect any of the surrounding areas around Vegas. We wanted to make sure that we had Fremont Street realized, and we have a location called Freeside in the game before they even hit Vegas. And I think once they get a taste of that, they're gonna be suitably intrigued to go, okay, well, if, you know, if that's Freeside, you know, I, you know, hell, I wonder what Vegas is gonna be like. The Vegas that we were representing was really classic Vegas. This is something that dovetails nicely with the general aesthetic of the Fallout series as a whole. Everything to do with the Strip is a big artistic playground. One of the strengths we saw about being able to use Vegas as a location is because all those casinos have their own individual themes, it's like a big amusement park the size of a city. And not only do designers have a lot of fun doing quests for those areas, but artists have a fantastic time going, you know what, we can just play around with this location because that's what Vegas is all about. When I take pictures or give reference and then say, I kind of want to like it like this, I'm kind of going to want it like this, it's very nice to see the artist come back with something that's even better than what I had imagined in the first place. I think people are really going to dig how different it is from the Capital Wasteland and how we sort of captured the feeling of the Mojave.